Hey folks, it's Shrithgar here. How you doing? We're going to carry on right where we left off today. Um, let me just quickly zoom out and check how things are to the south. Um, I doubt it's changed very much. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, because we left a massive pile of bodies down there and they uh, tried to kill a couple of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry on manufacturing stuff. I need to... I've got two of these being made. I've got three lots of those, so there's plenty of those being made. Two lots of the belts being made, and I need one more lot to make um, uh, the other bits. What are they called? Oh, no. I can't remember. No! Don't do this to me. Well, first of all, I need to make electronic circuits. Because... I, uh, inserters. I need the inserters. Uh, so I need three to combine to make those, which means I'm going to need one of those uh, factories there. Um, so I'm going to need to make another one of those. If I make a second one of them, like that... While that makes, um, I'm also going to need more of these factories. Uh, I've only got... Well, i got two, and... Right, let's go with one of those. No, actually, I'm going to need two, because what I'm going to need is... I need to be able to make the electronic circuits. To make electronic circuits, I need to take out the copper, and I'm going to drop the copper onto that side. So I'm going to reverse the way that I've been doing things. Um, let me put those back. I will take these out. Plonk one there and one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an inserter here like that and an inserter over that side there like that. This one is going to make copper wire because you need the copper wire to be able to make the electronic circuits. So I will do that there and then this one here, this is going to make the um, electronic circuit. That needs iron plate and copper cable. So that one will be made there, so I'm going to put an inserter here, and I'm going to put another one there. So I've got both of them coming in from the one side, so that should feed it at a reasonable rate. And then a, another one is going to come out, actually, to be able to plonk this out now, I'm going to need this to, actually, how should we do this? Oh, I know how we do it. If I, I'm going to need two of them. I'm going to need two. Wait, bear with me. Because to make the actual inserter, I need electronic circuit, gear wheel, and iron plate. Uh, wait for it. So I don't actually need, I just need the copper cable to go up to this one. So what we'll do is I won't use these. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use long-handed inserters. Remove that one. So the copper will come from that side and it will feed into here. And then the long-handed inserter, I will put conveyor belt like this. Just four. Uh, just, just four or five width like that. So then this one will go here and rotate that way. So it will pick up from that belt. And this one here will put down onto the belt like that. Now let me just extend the electricity supply up and same here so I want to run the conveyor belt up a little further one two three four five six there we go so that's gonna put the copper cable out onto this side and then the copper cable is gonna go up and it's gonna feed onto here um, which oh and I also need the iron plate so I gotta bring up uh, gotta have a second inserter here look that one's going to go there, and this belt will run north, like this, there. So that will feed the copper into the iron plate into here. Right, so now we've got iron plates and copper cables being fed into it, and we've got the electronic circuits being fed out. We've got intact, uh, intacts, attacks incoming down there. So I've got both items feeding in, and then I've got, I'm left with these circuits. So these circuits... I need to... Actually, I want to do two of these. I do know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of talking to myself as I do it. I want to get, first of all, um, a little bit of this iron that I've got in this chest. Let me come through this side. There we go. Right. Ooh, I got loads. Ideal. Right. And I'm going to put the iron chest up here for a minute. And I want these assembly machines get a couple more of them. So I've got one of those and one of those. Is the one going to be enough? That's my big question. Is the one going to be enough? The next thing that I'm going to need is to put these together. I need the electronic circuit, I need an iron gear wheel and an iron plate. 
So electronic circuit, iron gear wheel, iron plate. Uh, the iron gear wheel will come from one side. The electronic circuit will come from over here. I think we can do this. If I load... Is what, I, what, I'm, what I'm wondering is, is one of these going to be enough? If it is, I can just feed it back out on this side, look. If I put it up here, look. If I put that one there, like that, because it's three in width, that is going to be sufficient. So I can put that one down like that. That is going to start feeding them out straight onto this belt. And put that around and go up there like that. So that is going to start feeding out the circuit. Now, if this is enough, I can put this one down here. And another one... Actually, I've got to move that belt. So we'll just start with one. Let's just get one going. And I'll rotate that round. So I need two from this side. They're going to feed in. Uh, inserter. There we go. So that's going to be the plate and it's going to be the electronic circuit. So we've got both of those feeding in. And I might do that with a fast uh, insert. Uh, actually, I'm going to use a speedy inserter for that. Where are we? Yes. Uh, let's make five of those. Right, while those are making... Um, so then I'm going to need to take in, from this side, the iron gear wheel. So I need to bring the iron gear wheel up. One, two, three, four, like that. And where's my inserters? Uh, I've run out of inserters. Ugh. Okay, I'll make it. I'll make ten of those there, like that. These speedy ones are making. So while they're making this, um, rotate that round and put that one there. This one here, he's got to rotate round and he's got to go in that way, like that. And he's going to need some power, so I'll put a uh, power supply right there, like that. And then. What I need to do now is I need the completed inserter to not be placed onto this belt, but to be placed onto this belt here. Because that is going to feed off to feed the green ones. Feed the green science pack. And then I need the copper plate and the iron gear wheel to feed this side as well. So everything that is intermediary production is here. And the gear wheels that I'm also using up through here. And then coming out of this section, we've only got two conveyor belts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I need more conveyor belt. I have no conveyor belt. I've got loads of it down here. I'll have to make some. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. That's making lots. Um, I don't need those burner inserters to be carried around anymore. Let me. There we go. Perfect. Right. Now, if I walk over here, this one is now going to move out one belt like this. Then I will come north and run it up like this. Right. Are you watching this? This is going to be a very clever little trick. So then I put a new belt here and go like that. This belt will come up again. This one here, though, is going to feed into that side. So then I take a long inserter and I twist him round like that. So he's going to feed onto the same side, but then it comes up and it feeds on back onto the first side, if you understand what I mean. So if you have a look here, we've got inserters that are feeding up here and we've got belts that are feeding up on that side. So this is the four ingredients that I need to make those packs. So the next thing we find out is, do I need a second one of these producing the electronic circuits? But we'll have a look at that in a minute. First thing that I need to do is move this... Um, I'm going to move this coal belt just a little bit. And if I... I'm going to bring it north by a couple of sections like this. There, that'll do. If I bring it over like that. Now I'll run over here like this. There we go. Right. That's going to move in there like that. And then if I run back over here, I will rotate that one. There. And rotate that one so that it all goes up there. Then this, I can pick up all of this belt. And if you just right click and hold and then run, it will just pick it up as you run along like this. Which is actually a really cool way to do it. But I've got all this coal now that I'm going to want to get rid of because I don't want to be holding it continuously. Um, I'll tell you what. If I go down through here, I can just dump a lot of it into these furnaces. That will get rid of a whole load of it. It will free up a bit of space in my inventory because i got far too much. There. Another one there. And one there. There we go. Right. Let's get rid of a whole load of coal. I've got these sections here. 
Is this enough? I don't know. I think what we'll have, I think we're going to have to um, move this one up one, and we're going to have to do a second electronic circuit. But I can worry about that in a second. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand. This belt is going to run north, up like this. Then I'll uh, actually no, I want to go one more north. There we go, and then rotate round like that. Take it this way. Actually. Let's not waste space. I want to run it straight down here, and then this one's just going to turn on itself. So that one's going to go there, so the other one will go there. So that's where I need to run it. Put it like that. Run a line down like that. Perfect. And let me rotate that so it runs in there. I'll pick these up. I can put them down again in a minute. I can put them down. If I go here, how many can I put back into there? Can I put any in there? I've got 15. No, I can't put any in that one, but I could put them in there to feed, feed that one. There we go. Look at that. Right. That's those picked up. So I've got that belt running like so, and then I've got... Oh, hang on. This wasn't quite how I was planning to do this. Oh. I think I've made a mistake. No, that's okay. We can... Yeah. Uh, right, just ignore me for a second. Let me put that down. I'm going to make some more of those factories. I'll make another five of those. I want uh, four making the red ones and four making the other ones. So one, two, ah, no, 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 don't do that. Frith, what are you doing? We need to have space for the inserters. i got one there. Right, one, two, three. Oh, there's three. I've got the other five coming. The other five will be here in a minute. So while we're waiting for those, I want... This is going to be short inserters. So for these, I'm just going to put one on each. Rotate. One there in the middle, one there in the middle, one there in the middle, and one there in the middle. And then for the next line of factories... So I don't actually need these here at all. This belt can go. So I can remove that. Let me um, come over here. And head north, just removing all the belt like so. There. Perfect. Now I've got five of those. Is that all of them? I've still got one more. I want to remove that. Get rid of it. Remove that one. Put that one down there. And then if I put the cable... Is that going to be enough? Mm, might reach. Bear with me. I, I do sort of realise I'm talking to myself continuously, but it is working. There. And I need to do the same on the other side. I've got to have power over this side as well. Once we unlock steel, which we will be able to do very soon, now that we've got these um, conveyor belts and making all of these items, once we get steel... Oh, hang on. Uh, no, yes, that is right. That is, yes, yes, no, yes, right. This is correct. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Uh, I want conveyor, I want inserters, I want one there in the middle, one there in the middle, one there, and... Oops. You come out here and come down and one there. Right, like that. So I'm going to run this belt up so that I can make a second... Oops. One. I can make another factory if I need to. I'll be able to... Yeah, perfect. Right, now run that down here. And rotate it now. So it comes in here. And then rotate again. And put it just in front of those like that. So now I've got all of them available for all of the factories. And this one is going to make greens. This one is going to do green. And this one. And this one. Right, so I've got those green packs. And then these are going to do red packs. There, 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 and there. Right. Those are all doing red packs and those are doing green packs. I want some lights. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So let's make some lights a minute. One, two, three, four. And... Now I need to get some inserters coming out. I'm going to need more inserters. I'm making inserters, but I think I'm making them too slowly. Although I'm not sure, because the speed that the uh, green ones... If I just have a look here, does it tell you the speed? Well, that's six seconds, and that's five. So the speed is quite a long time, um, whereas... Let me just come off of the belts here a minute. Right, this one, he takes quite a while to make one. I'm waiting at the moment on this one. What's he doing? Iron plates. Ah, look. Right, now we've got a problem. This is a bottleneck here. We've got a bit of a bottleneck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this inserter. Well, I'm going to replace this inserter with 
that one. That's going to be a fast one. That should then be sufficient to feed everything, I'm hoping, anyway. Let's uh, travel up. Uh, uh, I can put some light up. We'll watch the belt to make sure that everything is feeding in correctly. This is going to be a major issue if we don't have enough. I'm just going to put a whole load of lights here as I travel up so that we can see what we're doing in our magnificent new base. Ooh, there we go. There, there, and let's put one there like that. Okay. Now when it gets uh, dark again, we'll be able to see what we're doing. So, so far, it's not going any further than around here, which is really not any good. This is not what we want. Um, so I need to find a way to change this. What I'm thinking is we're going to have to... Oh, I know what we do. Let's upgrade that one as well. If I put this as a fast inserter, like that, I've now got two fast inserters, and I've got all of these furnaces as well. So hopefully, we'll be able to get enough. That means that this chest is going to start emptying out. So we're going to need to... What we want is we want upgrades. We want lots and lots of upgrades. The iron is moving north. The iron plates are coming up. Uh, this one doesn't need anything, but we do need plates up here. We need plates for this one so that they start making the, um, the electronic circuits and then they start sending these inserters down. Right. I think I know what I'm doing. I want a conveyor belt run up here and this conveyor belt... Actually, if I, do I have it south? No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want it up here. I'm going to put an area up here. Actually, I think I'm going to put a research area along here. This is going to be our research bit. We're going to do that further north. So I'm going to um, make a different type of belt. So if I just run up here with this one, up through, and I've run out. Uh, I'll tell you what I can do. If I come over here, I'm going to make a chest that is going to store these conveyor belts. I'm making two lots of them, so I'm making a double lot of those. Um, I will put down a single solitary chest right there like that. And then I will make... Let me get rid of those. I don't want those there. I will make one of these. This is a smart inserter. This is actually a really cool thing to use, a smart inserter. I think these are really awesome. And I'll show you what it does. You put this one down here. It doesn't actually do anything at all until you program it. You go to the filter. And let's go back uh, this one. So I want it to pick up transport belts. And you can set five items that it picks up. This one is only going to pick up transport belts. That's the only thing you can run anything you like past it only going to pick up these transport belts that I've programmed that will fill up this chest which you've got uh, you've got to admit that is pretty tough that is pretty darn cool that is pretty sweet so we can filter through and have whatever we want so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to make a few belts myself while I'm at it that's uh, 50 pieces of belts that I've requested to be made um, it does two at a time doesn't it so that's actually 100 belts while it's doing those I also want to make a set of underground belts so you use the underground belts to pass underneath other ones. You can't go very far with an underground belt, but it is a pretty useful little tool. Let me show you what I mean. Um, if I come up here, and then where is my underground belt? Uh, I don't actually need those guns for a minute. I will go and put some more guns down here, I think, soon. Uh, but for a minute, let's just um, you put that one there, and then you just bring it. It's like the underground pipes, but it just doesn't go as far. So that's as far as I need to go with it. I'll rotate that round that way. And now I'm going to run like this. Right. There is my belt. Uh, no, I'm going to do the... I will do those things later. The, um, the what do you call the um, The turrets. The gun turrets. I'll do those later. For now, I want inserters. I've only got four, so I need to make some more. One, two. There's another ten of them. And put inserter... Inserter, here, here. Uh, oh, issue. I want these to go either side. <coughs> so what I'm going to have to do is... Uh, well, I don't want them to go that side. I want them to go on this side. So this belt here is going to have to come out like that. And come out there. And then if I bring the belt round that way... I'll bring it out past the lights. Uh, actually, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Don't worry. I'll put the... I'll bring it... I've got to come out past the lights, and I'll come up... Oops. 
we'll just come down again and uh, fit it in properly. There we go. Is that one going to work right? I think that's going to work right. I'll bring that one up there. Rotate. So it goes like that. Remove that belt and rotate that belt there. So I've got them. They're going on to the far side. And then this belt here is going to go on to this side. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I've got to rotate it twice. So I've got to bring this one that way. And then I've got to bring it... Actually, it can just go straight in like that. That's just going to feed onto the correct side. So the, the green ones are always going to be on the top side. And then the red ones will always be on the bottom side. Um, if I... Remove that belt, remove that light, move it one further. I want to just move this around a little bit. It's not much. It, it. This is just me, is how I like to run the operation. Let's put that one there. That one, like that, there. Remove those there. That's better. I, I, I just prefer it like that. Don't ask me why. I don't like dropping. If I can help it, I don't like to put things out onto the corners with the inserters. That's just that's just me, okay? It's it's nothing you need to do. It's nothing you need to worry about. It's just how I want to, how I wish to run my operation. So I've now got the red ones on the south side, the green ones on the north side, and they're going quite nicely. The conveyor belts are going like mad. They're going through, which means that we're actually running low on iron plates getting up here where we want them to be. Um, and also, I think I'm running out of iron slowly. What's going on? Ah, we're running out of power. We're actually running low on power. This is going to be the next issue. Um, I already showed you the smart inserter, didn't I? I put that one in there, didn't I? So yeah, I apologise for repeating myself again. What we're going to need now is we need more steam engines. I'm going to have to make a few more of those to speed up the mining process so we get more iron coming through. Um, I've still got the gun turrets going. They're going nicely. Nothing has touched the wall for a long time. Look at that. That is pretty cool. So while we're down here, I'm just going to... Uh, 25 guns, there we go. Right, I'm going to put in a couple of extra gun turrets. Uh, just because we can. Let's put one there. Right, I just want a few of these around. Yeah, I know, this is like a little bit more than a few, but still, it does the job. And while I'm waiting, let me get another few of those turrets being made. There. Perfect. Right, they're going to start feeding into all of these turrets. I've got plenty of power coming through. Um, but the power supply is slowing down. So that is going to be the next big task that, task that we've got to worry about. Let me just move over a bit. There we go. Right, so there's all of the gun turrets taken care of. Um, while they're busy loading themselves, I'm actually coming to the end of the episode. Um, just turn off the alarm there. Um... I'm going to... Let me just do these bits. We'll pick up those, those, and those, and we're going to run them up north. Um, we've still not got much power, because those weren't actually using power at the time. It was uh, because I was... Where are they? There we go. Lab. Oh! Someone's actually... Look, they've actually made... They've actually damaged something. They actually reached the wall. I'm going to have to put another gun turret down there. I'll do that later. Um, yeah, because the labs weren't being used, they weren't actually, uh, consuming electricity, as, like, um, older games, it used to be, it didn't matter what you were doing, if they were, if they weren't, even if they weren't being used, they would still consume electricity, so I want five, I'm gonna say six, go for it, uh, there's another, and another, there, so I'm gonna have six labs, and I'm gonna put these along here, so I just wanna quickly set this up, oops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, one there, one there. Um, right, there's one more lab being made. Put that one there. I get another piece of belt. Now, eventually, we've got to have two more types of tech. Um, we're going to have blue science packs, which we'll unlock uh, at some point, but I, I don't really remember when. Right, the blue science packs, where do they unlock? They unlock here somewhere. Anyway, if you look down here, you'll, need, you'll see, like here, you need the blue science pack, science pack three. Um, and I can't remember how you unlock which one of these it is that you use to unlock them. I think it's electric batteries. Electric and oh, there we go. Look, it affects this 
That one there is the battery. That unlocks the science pack. You need advanced circuits, smart inserters, steel plates and batteries to be able to make the darn things. Advanced circuits require plastic which requires oil. Batteries require sulfur which you've also got to break down from oil. So that's quite involved process to get. And then the other science pack is the purple one. To get those you need alien artifacts. The only way you get alien artifacts is by attacking the enemy. So we've got to then go into combat phase. Um, so yeah, it all gets quite interesting. There's a lot that we got to cover yet. I mean, a huge amount. So we will eventually be needing technologies to um, feed two more types of science pack into these domes that we're making now. But we don't need them right this second. So I'm just going to put those two there. I got one here and then last one is being made. Let's run some power up. Um, come here a minute. There you go power there and if I put it here like this uh, you know what let's just put more than we need like that there we go that's all of those and one more dome here like this right they're gonna feed everything that we possibly need into these labs that one's got one green one in so now I press T and I can start researching stuff so Insert, inserter item stack size bonus one to do that is actually going to be really useful down here if you're moving from a chest to a chest um from a chest to a chest it increases it doesn't if you're going straight on to a conveyor belt um t is the one that i want so you have a look here when inserters are moving from one container to another or loading unloading trains, they move more so that is quite handy lab efficiency we're not going to worry about um but the one that i want first is this one advanced metal processing that allows so we can make steel at the moment but it allows us a bigger steel furnace this is the one that we want we want a bigger steel furnace so let's research that one now have a look up here they're all starting to chuck in everything that we need look at that that is a thing of beauty right there perfect just what we want so anyway thank you very much for watching next episode now that we finally got our research station set up next episode we're going to increase our power available and we're going to sort of try and set up a basic power grid uh, that will so it, it will last until we can get batteries and solar farms um so that's going to be our next episode we're going to do a massive steam engine farm so thank you very much for watching this is frithgar i hope you enjoyed it goodbye and see you later